The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. This is Greg Columbus of Radio America reporting for World Net Daily. My guest at this time is retired U.S. Major General Paul Valley. He's joined us a number of times to talk about critical national security issues, but he's also making a little bit of news of his own. On another radio program earlier in the week, he was commenting on the controversial case regarding a U.S. military officer, Terry Lakin, who was briefly imprisoned and dishonorably discharged for refusing to follow orders to head to Afghanistan because he questioned the constitutional eligibility of President Obama. During that interview, General Valley suggested that as many as 10 different experts that he's shown what the White House recently released as the president's long-form birth certificate is in fact a forgery. And he's with us now to shed a little bit more light on those claims. And General, it's always great to have you with us. Well, thank you, Greg. Happy to be back again. General, certainly for the case of uh, official Washington and much of the mainstream media, the release of that uh, what would appear to be the long-form birth certificate seemed to be the end of the story. But you've shown this to a lot of different experts. Uh, tell us a little bit about who these experts are and what they found so troubling about this purported birth certificate. Well, even uh, beyond my request, uh, when the long form was released uh, by the White House, then uh, a lot of uh, pundits uh, as well as researchers uh, starting a process of looking into the originality of that document. Now, that's not the original birth certificate. That's a certificate of live birth, uh, which is different. His actual birth certificate has uh, never been found uh, in Hawaii, nor uh, released from Hawaii Hospital, Capioli Hospital there, if it, in fact, uh, did exist. We've had uh, three CIA agents retired, and some of their uh, analytical associates look at it and uh, came all to the same conclusion uh, that even the long form uh, was a uh, forged document. So... I would say that uh, as a follow-on to this, and to answer all of our questions, that thoroughly be analyzed by uh, resident FBI officials uh, and analysts to determine uh, if, in fact, uh, invalidate whether it's forged or real. Uh, one of the uh, apparent flaws in that document was they listed Kenya as the place of birth uh, of Obama's father, but uh, Kenya was not a country, established country at that time, so sort of brings into question uh, about that. And, of course, it brings into Article 2, natural born status, which means both your parents for presidential uh, appointment uh, and candidacy uh, uh, must be born in the United States. So the fact that his father was validated on that birth certificate, even if it was true, uh, say he was born in Kenya, which is, uh, has, has been validated. So there's still a lot of controversy, Greg, about it, and some of us would just like to have this thing uh, clearly uh, authenticated. Any other issues that raised any red flags in the minds of these experts? Well, that it was layered, the document, and they didn't do layering back in the early uh, 60s, uh, what they, they call layering a doc, where you can over lay one document onto another, and basically that's how forgers uh, do currency and other uh, forged documents. They can lay one on to the other by the high-tech means that they have uh, today. You know, of course, what the reaction's going to be, that no matter what the administration puts forth, some people simply won't be satisfied. How do you react to all that? Well, I think that's true uh, because they don't believe that he is eligible. So you have a fairly growing contingent out there. And I think uh, uh, one of the uh, responses I get anyhow, that uh, no members of Congress will take this on. Uh, the word I get out of Washington uh, is that uh, they don't want to challenge this because uh, it would be, in fact, uh, a felony offense and, in some cases, maybe even treasonous and afraid of a black uh, backlash uh, uh, from from some of the urban areas. So, But that's a very uh, poor excuse for not taking uh, necessary steps to make sure that uh, this president, in fact, is a legitimate president under Article 2 and he is a born U.S. citizen. So, anyhow, that's where we stand on it. Do you expect the FBI to actually take this up? Uh, what efforts are underway? No, to I don't think happen? they will, no. Uh, I think they're covering for this administration. I think uh, the corruption within this administration is uh, so uh, proliferated through the agencies of government now that uh, we're, we're just in a bad situation here. I think the lack of confidence in our government uh, is growing. And many uh, feel that not only all the members of Congress, but even our courts are corrupted at this time. 
And uh, just to, to follow up on what you said before, obviously we're probably not in a position to name names, but the folks who have gone over these documents, uh, you're saying, uh, have quite a bit of expertise in figuring out what's real and what's not. That's correct. General, always a pleasure to have you with us. Thanks for your time. Okay, Greg. Take care. Retired U.S. Army Major General Paul Vallely. He's now head of Stand Up America. I'm Greg Corumbus of Radio America reporting for World Net Daily. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.